Hello everyone, and welcome InfoTap Learning to today's English episode. In this episode, we'll be focusing on English conversation. Listening to English conversations is an essential part of improving your language skills. It can help you enhance your listening, speaking, and comprehension abilities. So sit back and enjoy our conversation. Let's get started. My name is Emily and I'm here to help you learn English easily through a fun and interactive pattern and question and answer method. We'll have engaging conversations where I'll ask you questions and you can practice responding. This way, you'll learn new words, phrases and grammar in a natural way. Hi there. How are you today? Hi there. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? I enjoy reading books and going for walks in the park. I enjoy reading books and going for walks in the park. That sounds interesting. Can you tell me more about her? That sounds interesting. Can you tell me more about her? Sure. I love reading mystery novels because they keep me engaged and walking in the park helps me relax and clear my mind. Sure. I love reading mystery novels because they keep me engaged and walking in the park helps me relax and clear my mind. Wow. That's really cool. Do you do that often? Wow. That's really cool. Do you do that often? Yes. I try to read a little every day and go for a walk at least three times a week. Yes. I try to read a little every day and go for a walk at least three times a week. Awesome. Now, let's try something different. What's your favorite type of food? Awesome. Now, let's try something different. What's your favorite type of food? I love Italian food, especially pasta. I love Italian food, especially pasta. Yummy. Why do you like it so much? Yummy. Why do you like it so much? I love the flavors and the variety plus, it's so comforting and delicious. I love the flavors and the variety plus, it's so comforting and delicious. Italian food is amazing. Do you cook it yourself or do you prefer eating out? Italian food is amazing. Do you cook it yourself or do you prefer eating out? I like both, but I often cook it myself at home. I like both, but I often cook it myself at home. That's nice. Do you have a favorite Italian dish you like to make or order? That's nice. Do you have a favorite Italian dish you like to make or order? Yes, my favorite dish to make is spaghetti carbonara. Yes, my favorite dish to make is spaghetti carbonara. Sounds delicious. Do you usually cook for yourself or for others as well? Sounds delicious. Do you usually cook for yourself or for others as well? I usually cook for myself, but I love inviting friends over for dinner too. I usually cook for myself, but I love inviting friends over for dinner too. How wonderful! Cooking for others can be so rewarding. Now, let's switch topics a bit. Have you traveled to any interesting places recently? How wonderful! Cooking for others can be so rewarding. Now, let's switch topics a bit. Have you traveled to any interesting places recently? Yes. I recently visited Paris. Yes, I recently visited Paris. That sounds exciting. What was your favorite part about the trip? That sounds exciting. What was your favorite part about the trip? My favorite part was visiting the Eiffel Tower and enjoying the beautiful view of the city. My favorite part was visiting the Eiffel Tower and enjoying the beautiful view of the city. The Eiffel Tower is truly stunning. 
Did you try any French cuisine while you were there? The Eiffel Tower is truly stunning. Did you try any French cuisine while you were there? Yes, I tried many French dishes, my favorite was the croissants. Yes, I tried many French dishes, my favorite was the croissants. Croissants are delicious. Did you visit any other famous landmarks in Paris? Croissants are delicious. Did you visit any other famous landmarks in Paris? Yes, I also visited the Louvre Museum and Notre Dame Cathedral. Yes, I also visited the Louvre Museum and Notre Dame Cathedral. Those are incredible places. What did you think of the art at the Louvre? Those are incredible places. What did you think of the art at the Louvre? The art was breathtaking. Seeing the Mona Lisa in person was a highlight. The art was breathtaking. Seeing the Mona Lisa in person was a highlight. I bet it was. Did you have any other memorable experiences in Paris? I bet it was. Did you have any other memorable experiences in Paris? Yes, I enjoyed a boat ride on the Seine River. It was very romantic and scenic. Yes, I enjoyed a boat ride on the Seine River. It was very romantic and scenic. That sounds wonderful. Now, back to everyday life. Do you have any hobbies or activities you enjoy besides reading and walking? That sounds wonderful. Now, back to everyday life. Do you have any hobbies or activities you enjoy besides reading and walking? Yes, I enjoy painting and playing the guitar. Yes, I enjoy painting and playing the guitar. Those are great hobbies. How long have you been painting and playing the guitar? Those are great hobbies. How long have you been painting and playing the guitar? I've been painting for about five years and playing the guitar for three years. I've been painting for about five years and playing the guitar for three years. That's impressive. Do you have a favorite style of painting or type of music you like to play? That's impressive. Do you have a favorite style of painting or type of music you like to play? I love painting landscapes and I enjoy playing acoustic songs. I love painting landscapes and I enjoy playing acoustic songs. Speaking of your creative pursuits, have you ever displayed your paintings or performed your music in public? Yes, I've had a few art exhibitions and played at some local open mic nights. That's fantastic. How did it feel to showcase your talents in front of others? It was a bit nerve-wracking at first, but ultimately very rewarding and exciting. I can imagine. What kind of feedback did you receive from your audience? The feedback was very positive. People seemed to really enjoy my work, which was very encouraging. That's wonderful to hear. Do you have any upcoming events where you'll be sharing your art or music? Yes. I have an art exhibition scheduled for next month and a performance at a local cafe next week. That sounds exciting. I'm sure you'll do great. Now, let's switch gears a bit. Do you have any goals or plans you're currently working on? I'm working on improving my English and hoping to travel more in the future. Those are excellent goals. Consistent practice will definitely help you improve your English. And traveling is such a wonderful way to experience new cultures and languages. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to it. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. And don't hesitate to reach out if you need more practice or have any questions. Wow. You have such interesting hobbies and experiences. It's been great talking with you and learning about your love for Italian food. Your amazing trip to Paris and your creative pursuits in painting and playing the guitar. Thank you. I've enjoyed our conversation as well. I'm glad to hear that. Remember, practicing English through conversations like this can really help improve your skills. Keep exploring, learning, and enjoying the process. I will. Thanks for the encouragement. You're welcome if you ever want to chat again or continue our lessons. Just let me know. Have a wonderful day. You too. Bye.